This how-to video will show you how to clean and disinfect your Hamilton T1. Although we are using a Hamilton T1 in this video, all the procedures we demonstrate here are the same for Hamilton C1 and Hamilton MR1 ventilators. After disconnecting a patient from the ventilator, there are a few things you need to do. After each patient, and according to hospital policy, you should remove the breathing set together with the flow sensor and HME filter and other eventually used components. As a next step, remove the expiratory valve set from the housing. If you are using a single-use expiratory valve set, dispose it. You should always handle breathing set and all other components as contaminated items. Follow your hospital's procedure for disposal. If you are using an autoclavable expiratory valve set, reprocess it immediately after use following the relevant reprocessing guide. Reprocessing the autoclavable expiratory valve set comprises a few steps. After each patient use, or as needed, you should clean the ventilator exterior using the cleaning methods and solutions specific to the individual components. Always disconnect the ventilator from the power source before cleaning and disinfecting it. While rolling up the power supply cable, wipe it and do the same with the oxygen hose. Wipe with a cleaning wipe or a damp cloth the ventilator exterior, including housing, display, and the mounting system. You can clean the touchscreen with the same cleaning wipe or with a damp cloth. Avoid using a gritty cloth. Never pour fluids directly onto any of the ventilator surfaces. Use only registered and approved cleaning or disinfection solutions. This educational video does not replace the relevant instructions for use. Be sure to read the ventilator's operator's manual, as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information.